Hey Taurus, I'm back y'all with another video. So we're gonna take a look into July. It's gonna be July 1st through the 15th. So this is uh this is gonna be love messages. So let's see what we got coming for my Taurus in love. Oh, somebody say they want you, Taurus. They say they want you. I want you. <laughs> All right. Give me another message for Taurus, please. Give me another message. I love you unconditionally. Woo. Give me one more. So many things remind me of you. Mm. All right. Taurus. This looks juicy. Juicy. All right, so let's see what messages we got. I just feel like this thing just keeps shaking because the way I got it set up, it's not secure. All right, so yeah, we're gonna do it like that. All right. So, Taurus, somebody is in love with you. They want to be around you. They want you. They think about you all the time. Tell me what's coming in for Taurus for the uh, first through the 15th of July. We got the Emperor. Ew. Is this who this is? And this could be you, your energy. You feel like you're in your power. You could be dealing with an Aries. Maybe you walked away. Some of y'all walked away and found somebody new. Okay, and this new person is just like, bam, bam, boom. They like, they like all of that, right? Because maybe you decided to end something. It was too dramafied, okay? And... Somebody missed their chance with you. I feel like someone wants to wants uh wants to apologize to you or wants an apology from you, but for what? Like you're in your power. You got the Knight of Cups. Ooh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone definitely wants to give you an offer. Somebody wants to move in with the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants to move you in or you move in with them or something like that. King of Wands. Picking up a lot of fire here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Knight of Wands. Ooh. The Moon. For some of you, this connection was possibly like supposed to be a secret. You got the moon and two of cups. Maybe this is something that you've been working on in private. Six of pentacles. The four of wands. The world. The four of pentacles. And we got the death card here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, Pisces, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or in Aries. The bottom of the deck. Oh, we got the tower and the ten of swords. So something definitely is getting ready to come to an end. Or something has already ended. For some of you. For some of you, you're dealing with a husband or a wife. The four of wands and the emperor here makes me feel like baby daddy, baby mama, or husband and wife. Why is the King of Wands here? Page of Swords. Some of y'all are spying on the fire sign, or this fire sign is spying on you. Okay. Ooh, somebody got a lot of hope. Okay. Somebody can't stop listening. They can't stop thinking about you. For sure. You got somebody on your mind, or somebody got you on theirs for sure why is the emperor here the high priestess and the two of cups like i said for some of you 
this is supposed to be like a private relationship, something that may be supposed to be like on the low, on the hush hush, or you just feel um, like you are in control in this relationship. Like you feel like you could collaborate with this person. That's the Knight of Cups here. Five of Wands. There's a lot of competition surrounding this. Or a bunch of people are asking you, like, what's going on with you and so-and-so? Hmm. Why the Knight of Wands here? The King of Cups. This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is so... The Knight of Wands is somebody who is, like, not committal. This person is back and forth a lot. Um, with that King of Cups. Could be a, a water sign. Okay, somebody needs to make up their mind, make a final decision on if they want to be together, for sure. Okay, so some type of secret got out. Maybe the secret got out. Could be a Scorpio. That there was a Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries could be involved. We got the lovers, Gemini and the fool. Somebody started to fall in love, okay? Somebody in the recent past, somebody realized that, shit, I'm in love. <laughs> and somebody's thinking about, somebody, you're thinking about this person all day or this person's thinking about you all day, for sure, for sure. Like, this person can't get you out of their head. I just feel like it's someone that y'all both, I feel like y'all both are like this about each other. The Knight of Swords here. This person comes. They're coming. They are coming. They're coming for a commitment. Hmm. Could be a. T I am. I'm doing tours. They're coming. They are coming. And we got the Four of Wands here. They want to start a family with you. They want to get married. Or this is you. Could be a Leo. Like, this person really wants to be with you, or you really want to be with this person. For some of you, there are some things that you have to iron out about your past before you move forward. Okay? Yeah, before you guys be together. There's some things that you need to iron out in your past, from your past. But this person over here, once this person over here, they're cutting off options and waiting on you. They're waiting on you. They're waiting on this connection. They're waiting for you to cut off options, other options. They want you to move on from whoever that you're dealing with. They feel like, look, this person moves too slow or they feel like you're taking your time. Like, come on, what's taking so long? They be impatient, though. They're waiting for you to cut off your options. My support principles here. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this person is on your mind. Like, you can't get this person off your mind. They're thinking of you, for sure, for sure. Now, the death card is the page of wands, okay? So, is there ending, is this going to be no communication thing? Oh, somebody could be pregnant. Maybe, whew, there could definitely be a pregnancy here. We got the Empress and the Sun, there could be a pregnancy here. Maybe you find out that you're pregnant. Maybe you aren't. You haven't told this person. What's the page of wands here? Page of Pentacles. Two of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're uncertain about how something's going to work out. Maybe you feel like you're going to regret a decision if you walk away from something. Could be from your past. Um, maybe that's something that you aren't telling this person. But I do feel like... I feel like... It. Yeah, see, someone's here could be being lied to or cheated on, Okay. Maybe you think this person is going to cheat 
or maybe this person is all this person is be, oh they be playing mind games they're toxic as hell the magician and the devil and then we got the sun and the empress a baby mother could be involved somebody here could find out that they are being lied to taken for granted or that they are pregnant yeah it keeps popping up um some of you guys are holding on to something from the past but you have this thing for someone else you have this thing for someone else and this person can't get you off their mind and you can't get this other person off your mind either you're watching this person they're watching you hmm What does this person want to say to Taurus? I need to have more fun. So they want to hang out with you more. I'm so scared. I can't face you right now. Wow. Ooh. Why won't you give me space? I can't grow. So I feel like you <laughs> may decide to give this person some space. Hence why there was the death in the page of wands. Maybe you cut off communication with this person because you feel like you need space. But somebody's scared to face a situation right now. And then somebody's going to be saying, hey, I haven't heard from you. Have you moved on? Hmm, this read took a twist real fast. Really, really fast. I want to know more about this person. How do they feel about Taurus? How does this person feel about Taurus? This person, um, yeah. You got the hangman in reverse, so they're kind of letting go um, of a situation, or they're kind of tired of waiting. They want to take some type of risk, some type of leap of faith with you, but there is uncertainty. There's a lot of uncertainty of what is to come, okay? But they are willing to put in the work. Not the world here. They're willing to put in the work, but they're also willing to close this chapter peacefully if need be. This person is a little, like I said, this person thinks of you like a, like this person gives me like obsessive energy. Like this person could be obsessed with you. Like they think about you all the time. Like you're always on this person's mind. Like, you're, you're the prize to this person. You're the prize to this person. Why is, the, why is the hangman in reverse? The emperor. For some of you, like I said, this could be a baby mother, baby father thing. Or you're older than this person, or this person's older than you. Somebody also has control issues here. Someone could also be married. We we got somebody uh, with the Queen of Pentacles. That's like the wife energy. Queen of Swords. There could be children involved. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, see, they want their chance with happiness with you. They do want to collaborate with you. But they are spying on you. It's something here about your past that could be shattered. That they that you're trying to move forward from and come towards them with this. There could be like you're coming towards them. They want stability with you. They want long term. They want marriage with you. But there's something here. Someone knows that someone has a wife or something like that or a girlfriend or they've been with somebody for a long time. Um, 
but maybe de de deciding to leave that situation. I'm not the fool here. Yeah, they do want to take a leap of faith with you. They want to give you some type of happiness or some fulfillment. Yeah, see, they're saying like, you know, they not they <laughs> they don't know what, what you want to do. They don't know, they're uncertain about your options. So they're just sitting around waiting for you to choose them. And this person is love. Like they they are in full fledged love. For sure, for sure. Like this person is head over heels for you. We got the tower. And the Ten of Pentacles. Something could be... I'm telling you, someone could be pregnant. Someone could be pregnant or it's like someone's baby mother or something here. Tell me more about the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. Someone's wife. Someone could find out about something. Could be a Virgo. Yeah, something... This person over here... Like, they could be really, really, like, they're, I'm getting, like, they really, really want to be with you. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They think about you nonstop. Um, they could be trying to get you to leave one situation to come and be with them. Give me a message for Taurus, please. Woo. Spirit is saying there's something better that could be coming towards you in the near future. So listen to your intuition when you're dealing with this with this situation. Okay, we got reconsider. And it's in the reverse. Okay, so we got reconsider. There's something that you may need to reconsider within the next few weeks. All right? There could be trust factors here. Okay, you're going to have to listen to your intuition on when to take action because something about the situation could be unlikely and it's going to be better for you to choose a new direction. Okay, so just listen to your intuition when you're in this situation. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, the King of Swords wanted to jump. Eight of Swords. This, somebody could be trying to trap you or like keep you stuck. When I tell you, somebody is obsessed have obsessive thoughts for sure for sure somebody overthinks a lot um somebody could definitely have control issues but there could be like a disagreement or some sort There could be some type of disagreement of some sort because someone is coming out telling some type of truth. Okay. So pay attention to your intuition. Like Spirit is saying there's something better. And there's something that you may need to reconsider or reevaluate in this situation. Um, and just make sure you're paying attention to your intuition on this. Okay. So that's going to be the message that I have for you, Taurus. If this message resonates, guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well, guys like share and subscribe okay if you're interested in booking a personal my email address to contact me will be in the drop box below as well guys you can check out my website guys i have a lot of goodies over there you guys can get 20 percent off using sale code sell 20 at checkout s-a-l-e 20 at checkout and the website is in the drop box below as well guys all right until next time guys i'll chat with you later ciao